Welcome to the Pro Wrestling Weekly Update. I'm your host, Mark Cates. Now this week, we're going to do something a little special. I am live at the NWA Southern Pro Benefit Show, where tonight's main event is a two and a half year match in the making. We got Mr. Mid-Atlantic Damian Wayne on this side versus Sean Denny on this side. Both are NWA champions. Never know what's going to happen in this match. But the biggest point of the update this week is the bad blood between these two wrestlers. They have went back and forth through many matches and I figured what's the best way to let all of you fans know what's really been going on between these two wrestlers than to interview each one of them and get their thoughts on the other. So what I'm going to do tonight right here is I'm going to go find these two wrestlers and we're going to do an interview and get their thoughts on this match. Then live on Mindshot TV, you will be able to see this main event as the main event of the show. So give me just a second and I believe I'm going to go find Sean Denny, the man himself, and we're going to get his thoughts on this main event.
it's on. No, shut your mouth. <laughs> Did anyone ask you? Yes. No, no, they did, you retard. <laughs> 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 right. I hate you. <laughs> wow, impressive. Good for you. Yep, yeah. Now, I can't remember what this chair is for, but obviously it's for the Special Olympics. years now 
And you might notice I got a few friends here. This, this is Marky D, this is my little brother. And I don't go anywhere without him and everyone knows that. And this is the one American that I can stomach, that I can, that I can even stand the beer around. And that's the A-lister Zach Hilton. Back to you, Wayne. Tonight, I'm fighting you for your NWA Continental Championship. See, the belts at, at this point don't even, don't even factor into this. You see, we've done this so many times where I've had the belt and you've stepped in the picture, or you've had the belt and I've taken it from you. We've done it up north in Ring of Honor. We've done it down south. We've been in Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, West Virginia. There isn't a single place in the Mid-Atlantic I haven't beat your bald head in. So we gotta do it one more time. Everything's on the line. Now Wayne, you don't always straddle that good guy part of the fence, do you? Sometimes you cross over to our side. So just in case, sunshine, you have anything up your sleeve, this bulldog brought a contingency plan. Oh, I like that! Now test me. Test this Geordie Bulldog. Okay, everybody. Now we've heard the thoughts of Sean Denny. I was, this is the first time I've ever met this man. I was actually um, a little bit set back from that. But um, now, as I like to call him, the Mid-Atlantic ass-kicking machine, Damian Wayne, and uh, these are the thoughts that I really want to hear. So, first of all, thank you, sir. It's a pleasure to see you, Mr. Mark Cates. And uh, your time. Well, I'm sure he gave you his side of the story, but... Uh... You know, I'll give you my side. It goes back five years, and it, it was probably the most talked about feud in the Mid-Atlantic area. It, it, it all started, you know, I couldn't stand this guy. I, I, I came up through training with him. Uh, actually, he helped in a little bit of training with me with my two trainers, Phil Brown and Preston Quinn, but uh, I thought he was a big head, egomaniac. I'm better than everybody type thing, so you know, I was the green one. You know, I, I sat back, I ate my words, and a um, promoter named Louis Schrader came to me and said, uh, you and Denny are supposed to be the two best around here, so I want to put y'all in a match against each other. I was like, I'm done, I'm, I'm, I, I want to, bad, bad. I want a piece of this guy. So uh, it was agreed upon, and next thing I knew, it was uh, billed as an Iron Man match. First time we've ever wrestled each other, Iron Man match. Hmm. So we did. We went 60 minutes. We went 60 minutes. He uh, he got the pinfall right there at, at the 60 minute mark. He, he, I mean, it was split second. So of course he won. He got the one pinfall for the Iron Man. Well, that right there started a uh, friendship. Friendship. It started on respect. I ended up respecting this guy. We went to 60 minutes and. Uh, I didn't feel the same for two weeks. It took me two weeks to recover from that match. But uh, I grew respect for him. He grew respect for me. We became close friends. We went around putting on wrestling matches for everybody. And um, shock and awe, I mean, we won a uh, match of the year two years in a row. Um, feud of the year, as they called it, as a feud. I mean, yeah, we whooped each other's ass. But, I mean, he was my friend. I considered that. You know, he considered me his friend. Well. Uh, I kind of blossomed out. He stayed and been the big fish in the small pond, and uh, I don't think he liked that. So uh, things kind of turned for the worse, and uh, he went his way, I went my way. And that's why it's been two and a half years since we wrestled each other. And uh, I've noticed he's got a chip on his shoulder. Uh, I've been on a few shows with him, but we haven't crossed paths. I noticed he's got a chip on his shoulder, and I'm, hey, I'm fine with that. I mean. He wants this right here, NWA Continental Heavyweight Championship, and I don't blame him for that. But tonight, he says he's going to win my ball headed butt, as you said. Yeah, and, and, and uh, I think he thinks you got something up your sleeve. So he said he had a insurance policy, you know, brass. So, you know, since he since refused for you to be anywhere close to the room while he was talking, I just thought I'd let you in on that since I'm the common man in this situation. I know all the tricks he can pull out, because like I said, we got close, and he knows me. Baby face, heel, it don't matter what I am. I'm not gonna change my style. 
Uh, if I'm in there as the, the good guy, I'm still going to stoop to ripping your eyeball out. I'm going to pull your hair if you got hair. I'm going to kick you in your balls if you got any down there. Yeah, you know, so he can, I can fight fire with fire. Right. He's, he's got insurance policy. He thinks I got something up my sleeve. Well, he might find out I do have something up my sleeve. Well, I definitely think this is going to be very interesting. I appreciate the fact of uh, you letting me know about this event, and uh, it's an honor to be here. It's a and to have uh, you all here, man. I'm glad everybody's here. I mean, to get over the fact that we're here tonight to help you know the Brian Farrow family, help them out. But uh, it's going to be a hell of a night of wrestling action. That's right. Well, everybody, you know now you've heard both sides of the story. Please stay tuned this Wednesday night. Actually, Thursday night. 10 o'clock on scwamindshottv.com. This match will be the main event, and I don't think none of you want to miss it. So this has been another Pro Wrestling Weekly Update. Check us out next week. You never know my, who might be my guest at that time. See you soon.